convoy of Humvees. Mr. Clinton then gazed across a demilitarized zone that separates the Koreas. At that point, the president was about 30 meters away from the last frontier of the Cold War. Mr. Clinton then visited with soldiers from the United Nations Command Security Force who manned the post. The commander-in-chief then traveled to the bridge of no return. After the Korean War, military authorities opened the border at the bridge to give the Korean people a final choice as to which country they wanted to live in. When the president stepped toward the middle of the bridge, he was just 10 meters from the military demarcation line separating the countries. It was a place no U.S. president has been before. Now what really happens is the middle of the bridge is the actual military line. Right there. Channel. Those two soldiers are standing. So if they were to step over, they'd be fair game? Yes, sir. Absolutely. And it wouldn't be a violation of international law for them to be shot? No, sir. They stay on their side, we stay on ours. Let's say hello to the soldiers here. How are you? Hello, Mr. President. What's your name? Private Story, sir. Where are you from? Right from Massachusetts, sir. Appreciate what you're doing here. Oh, well, thank you, sir. The Korean soldier? Yes, sir. Yes, it is, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your service here. You see anything up there, soldier? What's in that house? No, Mr. President, there are two KPA soldiers, Mr. President. May I look at them? There you go. Those are, those are real, and the North Koreans are probably phony, aren't they? Yes, sir. They're they're basically three-dimensional structures, but we believe that they have no no purpose really. No, people there. no sir. Did you look them in the eye? I did. Did you see any North Koreans? I did. I looked at them, and they were looking at us. Back at Camp Boniface, President Clinton shook hands with and thanked the soldiers of the United Nations Command Security Force for their service to the United States. Reporting from Camp Boniface, I'm Sergeant Tom Williams, AFKN News. After visiting the DMZ, President Clinton addressed more than 2,500 2nd Infantry troops at Camp Mobile. The president emphasized the importance of their role in Korea and made clear America's presence will remain in the Republic. North Korea's stubborn refusal in recent months to fully comply with the requirements of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Agreement is the most urgent example of this. And in this new round of military cuts, I know that you all noticed no cuts were made in troop levels in Korea or Japan, and we beefed up our naval presence in the Pacific because that is what the national security requires. Mr. Clinton also emphasized America's military power must remain strong and able to fight and win on a moment's notice. He also praised the service of those who wear the uniform at Camp Casey. What I want you also to know is that I can see from my perspective sometimes something you may not be able to see, and that is these pictures of you here saying what you're saying, doing what you're doing, being who you are, give great pause to the enemies of freedom and great heart to our allies and to all the American people. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you.